I know scooters are usually pretty lame, but this one is not. There you go, folks. That's why people send me stuff to test out because if I can't break it, you probably can't either. All right, the things that set this electric scooter apart for me are, for one, it has suspension front and rear, basically swing arms, has lots of travel. It's got 2,000 watt motors, one at each end, so that makes it all wheel drive, and it'll go 40 miles an hour and for about 40 miles. All right, so this is the Varla Eagle One scooter and I've had it for about a month. Uh, these guys decided to send me this $1,700 scooter for free so I could show you guys whether it's up to snuff and I've already ridden it for about 80 kilometers. Now I don't speak German, but I think it's a pretty good, pretty long while. So not only does this thing haul ass, but it's got really big disc brakes, so that way you can slow down if you need to. Now the next question is gonna be, can it actually climb a hill? Because a lot of these electric motors just don't have enough oomph to get you up, especially something like this. This is the uh, little ramp by my house, and it is about the steepest thing I can find. So we'll see if they can do it. about as steep as it gets right there. You gotta lean over the handlebars, but hey, it did it. All right, this is what comes with your scooter. You got your toolkit, pretty handy. Charging cable cord, extra tube, and then these different grip tapes you could choose from, like actual skateboard, legit grip tape. ridden these electric scooters all over the world and something that they don't excel at is off-road capability well I've never been on an off-road you know all-wheel drive one until this one and it does pretty good off-road and uneven stuff Rock crawl. Oh, looks like you can. Maybe more rock bounce. Oh, It's basically like a pit bike, but electric, and you stand on it. So it's not like a pit bike at all.
features of this thing. Uh, so hydraulic disc brakes, pneumatic tires, 10 inch pneumatic tires, and they send you a, a spare tube. And I haven't had to use one yet. I've been doing some pretty dumb stuff, so that's good. Um, it's got little headlights on it and tail lights that flash when you hit the brakes. So you could drive this thing, I guess on the street. I don't know if street legal or how that works out, but yeah. Uh, it's got different modes. So it's basically got three gears up here. Um, first, second, third, just kind of like a vehicle, but it's more like giving you power and speed. So if your girlfriend or kid or somebody's riding it, you might not want to give them third gear. And also the same thing with eco and single and dual mode. So you can put it in, two, in one wheel drive and just use the rear motor and probably get the most distance out of it. Um, put it on an eco mode and you can get more distance as well. Of course, if you want to be like me and just haul butt around and jump stuff, then you put it in dual turbo mode. And, and the battery still lasts a long time. I mean, uh, I barely ever charge this thing. I think I've charged it like maybe twice and I've been riding around for a month. And it's got dual charging ports. So you can plug two chargers in there and you can cut the charge time down to half. Um, but I just got the one charging port or the one charging cord. So basically just charge it overnight and then let it rip for about a week and then charge it again. And last but not least, sweet little dingle bell. All right, pretty much the arch nemesis of any scooter that's not all wheel drive is gravel, especially pea gravel. Well, this one with all wheel drive, no problem. With all the suspension travel, this thing will bunny hop pretty good too. Killed it. Better be flying. I'd, I'd probably get way up the road and hit that fast. Nailed it. <laughs> that was hilarious. But there you go, folks. That's why people send me stuff to test out because if I can't break it, you probably can't either. So if you're like me and sometimes you're just a little too lazy to walk the dog, the scooter's perfect for that. My dog loves the scooter. Hey, come here. Ace absolutely loves chasing the scooter around the neighborhood. Hey, right, buddy. Come here. Ace. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. Hey. Do you like the scooter? Come on. Do you like the scooter? Huh? Come on, let's go on. Pretty good. On. I wouldn't recommend driving one of these one-handed because it gets the speed wobbles sometimes. Not good when you only got one hand on the on the handlebars. Would not recommend that. Come on, buddy. See, I didn't even have to break a sweat. The dog's already wore out. I'll get better than that. 
Now this thing might look really big, but it actually packs up not too, not too huge. Got those little clamps. Undo those. Slide up the collar. Down comes the handle. It's fairly heavy, but not too bad. Just throwing the bed in the truck. Go find another spot to play. Well, there you go, folks. I have beat on this thing and have not found a failure point yet, but don't worry, I'm gonna keep trying. But if you're in the market for a scooter and you got $1,700 to spend, you want something that's all-wheel drive, that doesn't break, that you can have a freaking blast with, jump it off stuff, not worry about it tearing up, I think this might be the one. Um, we got a link in the description if you wanna check them out. And uh, yeah, hopefully this works out. This isn't our typical video, but when someone sends you a really cool $1,700 scooter, I mean, you do what you gotta do. You, you make a cool video and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe somebody else will send us some other cool stuff. So stay tuned.